If you're a heat and nourishing technician or even a salesperson, what are some HVAC sales techniques and why do you need to know about them? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from HVAC Technician Sell Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Today, today we're going to talk about HVAC sales techniques and I want to give you both sides of the conversation. So over here, we're going to start with passive. And there is a certain amount of the population that is very passive. They're very mild-mannered. They're super conversational. And when it comes down to it, they're very accommodating. And if you're on the opposite side, your brain is freaking out going, that's not how sales is. And I'm going to help you out and say that for every style of sales out there, there is the complete opposite of it. So if you have somebody who's super passive, if you're an aggressive salesperson, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I couldn't do this. Okay. Now, what you need to know about passive salespeople is they tend to tell a lot of stories. They're typically humorous. Typically, not every time. They're typically humorous. They they like to have fun. They're very patient. They're very understanding. And they're very methodical. Most of the time. This is like, I can't say this with 100% certainty. I don't know about every person on the planet. Don't be silly. Okay. So HVAC technician sales secrets tells you that you got a passive salesperson over here and you're going to match up. If that's you, you're going to match up with about 30, 30 to 40 percent of the population. OK, there's going to be a pool of people that just they like your style. They like the way that you work and they're like, yeah, let's do it. OK, now what you need to know is there are some downfalls and passive salespeople, nothing wrong with this, tend to believe what uh, buyers are going to say, oh, I'll call you back. You know, um, I'm really going to go with you. We're going to do it in the fall. We're going to do it in the summer. And sometimes passive, sometimes, sometimes passive salespeople don't push back. Right. So if there was like, hey, Scott, is there a complaint about passive salespeople in my mind? Right. In my mind, it's just sometimes you don't go after the sell hard enough. OK, that's fine. And this is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel, which means private coaching, private training, discounted coaching, discounted training, or something cool. I don't know. Got to leave that door open. So we got passive salespeople over here, HVAC sales techniques. And then we got aggressive salespeople over here. Now, if you're a passive salesperson, you're looking over there going, oh my goodness, I would never do that in a home. I would never do that in a business. I can't believe that that sales dude or that sales chick just said what they said. That's super aggressive. And there is a pool of the population, 30 to 40 percent, that will buy from them, like because that's what it is. I, I have this belief that if a salesperson really truly believes in what they do, they're probably going to stick in the game a little bit longer. My belief doesn't mean it's going to be true for you. Simmer down, you'll be okay, you'll be all right. But realize that HVAC sales techniques vary from person to person. So there are really good salespeople out there that are passive, there's really good salespeople out there that are aggressive. But a lot of this is stereotypical, and I want to let you in on a super important secret. A lot of our beliefs about salespeople come from movies. And if you take a look at most movies, they don't represent salespeople very well. So what you see is somebody who is super aggressive in a movie versus what you see is super aggressive in real life is like, it's a different shift. It's a different gear. Now, sometimes occasionally movies get it right. Sometimes television shows, television shows usually get it right, but it's not all the time. So I would highly encourage you, if you're looking for HVAC sales techniques, to go ride with a couple of closers, even if you have to pay for them, even if you got to figure out a way to, to get the information that you need. But I will tell you this, whether you are a passive salesperson or whether you're an aggressive salesperson, it's how people talk to each other. I could be a super aggressive salesperson, but be way funny and way chill about it the entire time. Or I could be a super aggressive salesperson and I would be that stereotypical dude or chick that's on TV that is, or on the movies, it's just like, we're going to get this done, right? I can, I can be either one. Now, I will let you know that in the center, there is the hybrid. There's the person that when they deal with a certain group of people, they could be very passive. And when they deal with a certain group of people, they could be very aggressive. And so... If you're going to do a ride along, here's what you do is you look and see the interactions and you listen. You listen to the vocal pitch. You listen to the tone. You listen to how they pace themselves. You listen to the timing. 
the thing that most people don't recognize is like if you if you pay attention to a conversation and take all the cells, strip all the cells away from it, there's gonna be a feel to it. It's gonna feel like that guy was just talking to me. And so like when I when I train technicians, when I train salespeople, and they go do a ride along with somebody who's really good, you know what they, they typically say is it just sounds like that dude was just talking to people. I'm like, what do you want him to do? Like, well, it didn't feel salesy at all. It's because they learned the script, they made it their own, and they made it super conversational. And they're they're either really most really good salespeople, most are typically really calm. Now, there are some people who are super hyped up and they do very well in sales. I am not knocking that. That's a personality-based thing. But like if you have this belief that a, a closer every time they go in is gonna be super aggressive and scream and yell and stomp their feet and throw pens and you know smash binders on the ground. I have not found that to be the case, and I have ridden with quite a few closers in my lifetime. But I will tell you this, there is a trait amongst closers that nobody really talks about is typically, they say what they're thinking in a very polite manner. So that when they walk away from a lead, they're like, wow, I did everything I could to make that deal happen. HVAC sales techniques say there's gonna be a passive salesperson, an aggressive salesperson, and a hybrid, like right in the middle. Which one are you? I don't know, leave in the chat. I'm kind of curious. You got one of three things to do from here? Just one of three, besides leaving your style in the chat. You can hit subscribe, right? That would be fantastic. You can hit follow if this is social media. And three, you can share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.